Hi, this is John Maddox from Creating Music and Sound, and today we're looking at how Logic Pro's panning knob is a lie. And it's only with stereo tracks, so with mono tracks, it's fine. But when it comes to stereo tracks, it does a peculiar thing, which I don't know if most people that use Logic Pro are aware of. So we need a good stereo track, and I'm going to use Spitfire's BBC Radiophonic Workshop to demonstrate because it's composed of two banks of sounds, which you can hear here. So we have one sound here, another sound there. Now, if we take the sound as is, and we go to Logic's panning knob, and we pan it to the right, say, or the left, it sounds like it's working as it should. Now, if we go into the Spitfire interface and pan one of those sounds hard left and the other hard right, you'll clearly hear what Logic Pro is doing, or should I say what it's not doing. So let's pan those sounds. So now each side has a completely distinct sound. So when we go to Logic's panning knob, listen to what it's doing. It's taking the stereo track and it's not panning both the left and right sides to whichever way you're panning. It's diminishing the amount of sound from the side you're making less of. So in other words, what should be happening with a true stereo panning knob is it takes both the left and right channels and collapses it into mono on one side or the other. But that's not the case in Logic Pro. Now, there are two different ways that you can address this in Logic Pro, and there might be more because, like in other DAWs too, there's usually more than one way to do the same thing in these programs. Now, the, this I would call the old fashioned way, which is using a plugin called Direction Mixer. And you'll find this under Imaging. It's a very simple plugin. And if we play our sound, it pans it the way we want it to be panned. And again, just for sake of comparison, if we pan the actual panning knob in Logic, it's doing this. Oh, and one more thing about Direction Mixer. You might want to keep that in mind if you ever need to, in your plugin chain, make it mono before it goes to one of a series of plugins. If you ever might need to do that, that's how you would do it is with Direction Mixer. So back to the panning. If we go to Logic's panning knob and we right click on it, look what happens. We have an option for stereo pan. So if we click on that, now, Logic's panning knob is going to pan properly with the full stereo collapsing on one side or the other. Well, I hope this sheds some light on Logic Pro's panning knob and how it actually works. And this will be important in some videos I'm working on where we'll be talking about when you have multiple virtual instrument tracks that by default are stereo and how you can take this idea of panning stereo tracks or collapsing the stereo image a little bit to help with creating distinction between those virtual instruments in a mix.